All right, let's see. Oh, he's not going the the black Mario. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, he. Uh, I think he only cycles between this one and the uh, the black Mario. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure his reasoning by some character color switches. I know some people have some reason that they switch like colors, like Cosmos or Samsora. Yeah. Alrighty. Just getting everything set up. Yeah, I didn't see the stage that they were uh, going on. I think PS2 for Game mm -hmm. 1. Yeah, I think it was PS2 also. All right, let's see. Let's see what the round start's going to be. Immediately set up the gunman, get the can out there. He's like, yeah, as soon as this match starts, you have to get through the minefield of my projectiles. Mm -hmm. Not going to let you get a free grab. Yeah, because then you're being very passive so far, you know, just trying to avoid all the setups so far. Uncharacteristic miss from Raito on that can setup, actually. Didn't quite have the right spacing for that. Now, this is actually a pretty good stage for Mario because his combos get extended by the platforms relatively well. Yeah. It's just getting that grab is going to really be rough. Like, right there, he got the grab, but then... Wait. That's good stuff for him mm. to get him to the edge. But, yeah, he has to watch, like, his grabs when the can is nearby, too, because it can get uh, interrupted. Mm -hmm. I like what he's doing, though. He's trying to use the fireball to reflect the, uh, the can so that goes the opposite direction. Not quite working this time, but... Still, he's applying the pressure with it. Raido still has the safe control here. Then you're trying to figure out his way back in. I'm surprised he didn't get hit by the can at that point, actually. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, no. this type of matchup is really slowing down the way Zinni wants to play. But I like that he's not getting super frustrated off the bat. Like, he's just finding the opportunities he can get in, uh, taking advantage. Mm -hmm. All right, can comes off. He's still got the left trap situation. Nice, he's back here. jump. Waits out the can. But nice. I like that he set the can like roll distance from the ledge so he can actually safely get to center stage while like Zinio has to worry about the can, so he can't really chase him. Yeah, that was very smart indeed. Play pigeon into the setup. Double One more time pigeon. into the up oh, air. Yeah. Wow. That was really clean from Raido. Double play pigeon to the up air. Nice. Now getting the stock lead as a zoner. Probably the best position you want. Especially for a character like Mario who has to approach you. Alright, the can's there again. Decides to jump around. Zenyu has to be careful because of it. Yeah, Raito's very good at conditioning his opponent to go into shield because of that can. Yep. So it allows him to get free recoveries off stage. Exactly. Okay, nice. there we go, though. Air to no air. Taken. Yeah, two stock game, six minutes. We're playing Smash 4 right now. <laughs> yeah, basically. Just on, a, just on a new stage. <laughs> yeah, Zenyu's actually playing around the projectiles really smart right here. Even using the flood to push the can away. Mm hmm. And has to go around it. Yeah, Zenyu's being very patient. I like how he's playing around these projectiles. He's not mindlessly trying to, you know, start aggression and just yeah. hope right home messes up. He's being very calculated on where he's positioning himself around these projectiles since they do go in predictable arcs. Gonna throw him off? No, goes for the down throw. Actually, he didn't just simp that far. Look like you can combo off that potentially. Uh huh. I think he's trying to find oh a DI mix up. Okay, the oh forward smash God. does it though. The slight charge too. That was actually really clean from Raido, man. I know Z just didn't expect him to catch his lane with the F smash like that. Mm -hmm. Now deceptively long range too on that forward smash. Right. So now, Raido working with a pretty decent stock lead right here. It can set up as well. Yeah, it goes backwards into the back air. That was actually a really clean setup. Oh, nice covering the roll with the up tilt, continuing with the up air. Zinu kind of trapped in his uh, aerial drift, yeah. trying to find a way to land safely. Got another big opportunity here. Not able to find anything, but still gets it down to whoa! That wow, the clay pigeon looked like he was trying to intercept Zinu's combo, but still got percent off of it. Mm -hmm. Wow, Rhino man, he's working with this lead super well. Not gonna get the can tonight, but still he has such good stage control. Forces him to go high to avoid the can, and he just up airs him. Yeah, they're playing really close until Rhino got that early kill. So yeah. then it just kind of steamrolled after that. So can you? Oh, can you? Zenyu's got to try and figure out how to keep the stocks even closer and not be susceptible to those early kills. Yeah, he just really has to find a way to get momentum in his favor and just push it as far as he can. I really feel like he's, he's getting in, he's playing patiently, but he's not super pushing his punches really hard to put Raido in a very uncomfortable position. Mm -hmm. It's like he's getting his hits, but then he resets neutral again where Raido feels really, you know, at home. I feel like Zenyu's not even like doing anything wrong. It's just Raito's doing a better job of like positioning his projectiles, you know? Yeah. So that just makes it difficult in general. But here we go. We haven't quite seen a Zenyu combo yet either, so yeah. we could potentially see that happen in this next game too. So we know Zenyu is famous for that, especially in Smash 4. Yeah, and Mario's combo game is just even better in this game. Mm -hmm. But uh, Raito doing a really good job of getting those up airs. 
racking up the percent lead. Like, I feel like percent lead is just so important when you're playing a zoning character because the more you try to, like, approach, the more damage you're going to take. And you're forced to approach when you're behind like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just respecting the can, knows that he can't figure out anything yet. But getting a little bit too gritty for that grab, Claymore, or excuse me, yeah. <laughs> Clay Pigeon set up again one more time. Okay, the can actually sends him towards the stage. That's actually not too bad for Zenyu. I thought the can would actually send him out. Yeah, but, uh, could have definitely been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the up air, not going to be enough to kill, but it lets Rido get enough time to set up his projectiles on the stage. There's another can, and Zenyu's just trying to get to the ground, but like he's getting blown up left and right. Okay. Gets that throw. Oh, that was a big opportunity, but I love the DI from Raito. Just didn't mindlessly DI away, went in as well so that yeah. he could go to the other side and Zenny wasn't ready for it. Exactly. He was DIing away from the platforms too so that he couldn't continue his combo. Just smart stuff for you expect from a good player like Raito. Back throw. No kill throws from Duck on quite yet, I don't yeah. think. Oh, man. So patient at the ledge. Getting the F tilt on the neutral get up. Raito only taking 68%. This has been really rough for Dean to get these hard punches on, on Duck Hunt. Yeah. Definitely is gonna looking very difficult right now. Yeah, he's got he's gotta figure out his yeah. way back look, into center stage right look now. Look how long he was stuck at the other side of the stage. He was there for like a solid like fifteen seconds, just trying to find a way around the projectiles, and Ryo was just sitting there chilling like, Yeah, if you're not gonna find a way around it, I'm not gonna just let you approach for free. It's mm -hmm. like it's only your onus to uh, find a way around. All right, finally going to attack on some damage. You know, the fireballs were kind of working, but that time Raito figured out the flow of how Zenyu was zoning with the fireball. So he's able to catch him there, get some more damage. And every time he gets something oh like goodness. this, oh, Triple boy, into the up into air the one up more air. time. Man. That's such a good buff for Dunk in this game. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed – well, maybe – I don't know if it's true or it's just Zenyu's falling for it or what because I thought they oh. patched it, but not quite. Yes. And there we go. Reads the direction on air dodge. Gets the can Three to set it up stops. too. Yeah, it, it may not look like Ryo's not doing anything super crazy, but his play is just so consistent and well thought out with these projectiles. Like, every trap has a, a purpose, mm -hmm. and it's, like, really difficult for Zenyu to get around. Like, even with the projectile of his own, like, the fireball doesn't really do that much to stop Ryo from camping mm -hmm. or even help Zenyu approach. But there's a running turnaround up smash. Stuck right under Ryo and got the uh, kill there. Yeah. Still pretty far behind, though. He's going to have to really count on the hard punish to bring this one back. Oh, nice cape. Oh, uh, he didn't go oh. into the up E, though, so that was a very smart idea. I like it, but just didn't quite do it. Ah, uh, tried to go for the Master Mario. Didn't quite get that fair either. Yeah, if uh, Rado air dodged there, that would have been good for him, but, you know, Rado's a little bit smarter than that. To get, yeah. Not going to give Mario a free spike. Mm -hmm. He never, rarely plays under pressure, if I'm totally honest, so didn't quite find it right there either. Inter interrupting that combo with the Duck Hunt neutral air, too. It's just... It Zenyu's not able to get off as much damage as he would hope to up close. Mm -hmm. and that's basically what he has to do as Mario. Like That's one of Mario's best strengths, and I feel like he's not being able to really abuse it in this matchup so far. Right. Looking like the next game is probably going to be Curtains, unless Zenyu can get a pretty good combo, but he's got to close out this stock first. It's looking like it's really difficult. Mario still has that <laughs> issue of where he can't quite find the kill sometimes because he doesn't have reliable setups, so yeah. we'll have to see. And there's a the can again going super low off the stage, and that's it. Another snipe off stage with the can. Two stock by Raido. Just super solid, man. Raido, yeah. again, showing why he's the best duck hunt in the game for a reason. And, uh, man, just there's still not that many duck hunt players in yeah. general. So, like, imagine trying to figure out this matchup and you're going against the best one in the world. Yeah. Playing a kind of linear character like Mario, too. So, it's not super difficult for Raido to figure out how Zinyu wants to approach. Just Interesting. Looking to continue the Japan win streak on the stream, man. Yeah. So far, the the closest one is uh, Exax, yeah. and he's not even SoCal. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what's going on, SoCal? Uh, yeah. There's, 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 you know, yeah. there's a phrase going around that we, we shouldn't talk about right now. Here we go. Game three. Going to the same stage. Let's see if then you can try and make something happen here. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is a comfort pick as far as stage picks go. I don't know. Maybe. Every other stage you could go to got banned. I would love a smaller stage for Zenyu, mm -hmm. like Smashville, but I feel like that was banned probably. Yeah. Because we don't we have more uh, wider stages than we do smaller stages, so yeah. it's easy to ban them probably. And so this is probably I feel like this is a good stage for Mario regardless. Oh, he actually finally got an up air to beat out the clay vision so that he didn't get set up again. Okay. Zenyu's trying to get around the can here. 
Oh, bad trade, man. Not able to get as much damage as he wanted to. Oh. Right. There's the can set up again. Ryo staying under him. How's he going to drift? Goes to the other side of the platform, though. Got to watch this can coming up behind him, dude. Right oh, it's so tricky. Yeah, it's like it's like two v one right now. He's using the can to cover one side of Mario, and then just Raido existing on the other side, making it difficult for Zenyu to really pick a decision of what he should do. Should he try to approach Raido to do something and get some damage, or should he try to avoid the can? Because neither of them really seem like they're going to be winning options there. Exactly. That's uh, the nature of this character. Very trap oriented. Really difficult to get around. Okay. Not going to chase the up air. There's the forward air. They'll send him deep off stage. Then he's trying to stall his recovery to avoid the can. Gets the up B, but oh my goodness. The <laughs> ledge presence from Rhino. He was so patient. Immediately reacts to the neutral get up and F tilts him off the stage. Yeah, did you see that? There was like three different steps there. It felt like a chess game. It's like, yeah. okay, I avoid this, but then you don't avoid this. Exactly. The can Another big him opportunity. Off the stage. Oh, the landing get caught by the slight charge. Forward smash. You got to watch the can. No jump. Oh my goodness, barely getting back. It took 89% though. Yeah, it would have been the stock, just a mixed execution from Raido, pretty much. And again, the stock lead in his favor, just racking up all the percent, but there's the back air catching the ledge jump. 89%, Zane's gonna have to really capitalize off a of grab here if he wants to bring this back, but there's a jab. Gotta watch the can here. There we go, looks like he's still trying to figure this out though. Nice, catching the jump. <laughs> Zane just wanted that air dodge for the mm -hmm. spike. There it is, though, chasing them down. Zinyu getting really good hits here. Oh, but not paying attention to the can. Couldn't continue his juggle. All right, let's see. Not quite finding anything. All of a sudden, I blinked, and the, the damage is starting to tack back onto Raido. Yeah. This has got to be a he's story been, of... He's been getting good, good punishes. Just when he, when he resets to neutral, Raido gets so much opportunity to set up his traps. Mm -hmm. And that just slows down his play quite a bit. Like, he doesn't get to rise momentum for that long. Right. They got one more opportunity oh. here. The can. He's going to oh. recover from it. But he rolls this time. Doesn't get caught by a neutral get up F tilt. Yeah. No, boys, the exploding can, though. Still oh. another opportunity, but not quite. Guess we're out of the oh gunman. It's like he just throws up the can. Then you immediately has to run away. <laughs> like you yeah. guys running his face. But oh, my goodness. Woo. There's the can again. Rido, two stocks to one. Then you again potentially on his last stock of the winner's bracket. Go on. Really close to dangerously close to getting 3 0 by Rhino here. Unless he can make something happen. Whipping the grab. Zenyu still trying to figure out his way in. I mean, I appreciate the short hops, or the full hops rather, to try and figure oh. out an opportunity. But I feel like Rhino kind of knows it's like, okay, he's got to approach with some kind of aerial because yeah. ground speed for Mario not exactly the greatest. So he can just stay right outside the range and right behind the platform too, where Mario can't exactly land with an aerial quite accurately because the platform will be in the way. Ooh. Nope, not gonna punish the spot dodge. He doesn't get the down smash out. He's trying to get this stock off before he falls too far behind percent wise. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, again, Mario's like kill options are very telegraphed and Ryo's playing around them really well. Oh, really went well, low for it. Got the tech at least, but another forward yeah, throw. Oh, down so throw actually. Yeah, it's an up air. Might have DI'd in on that down throw. Mm -hmm. Rido so close to closing this one out. It's Zenyu just trying to find a kill here. <laughs> so difficult for him. Yeah, trying to read a jump or something, but Rido being oh. so patient knows exactly that that's what Zenyu is looking for. One more opportunity here with the can. Oh my goodness, he just <laughs> blows himself up. Gives him a pity stock right there. Zenyu just holds his shield, gets past the explosion, but there's the can again. He's trying to get these low percent combos started, but the explosions are just intercepting it at every turn. Oh, the clank on the grab. The can's right there. Look, he couldn't go aggressive because the can's in front of Rido. Oh, Another hit with the can. Zenny's got to pull something together right now. This is oh. a very grueling game. War of attrition right now. Oh, and yeah, there it the is. Jump. Forces out the double jump. And, and here we go. 3-0. Rido is playing so solid. It's just so difficult for Mario to get in on a character like this. He does not have the best range. And he just seems so predictable in how he wants to approach. Like, once he sets up the can on the stage, it forces him to jump. 